It's been amazing. It's a dream come true. Um, it honestly hit now. Like I got drafted, it felt good, but it doesn't hit till you get here. And I'm just blessed and thankful for the opportunity to be here. Anything surprise you out of the shoot? Uh, no, nothing surprised me. What did, having, a, having an older cousin who, who played in the NFL, what, what kind of advice did, did Terrence give you as you sort of got ready for, for, the, for this part in particular? Yeah, he just gave me things, gave me a lot of little tips and things to do that a lot of people don't know, like the, like how important it is to take care of your body. Like it's a long season. And a lot of young guys like me don't realize how long it is until you get here. And you just, you got to take it one day at a time and lock in and try to capture every opportunity. And he told me that, and I've been trying to do my best job doing that. Audrey, how much different is a NFL playbook compared to a college playbook, and, and how overwhelming is it? Um, it's a little bit different. This is my full-time job now, so we have a little more plays, uh, a little more tags, but this is what I'm here for. I wanted the opportunity to play at the highest level. I wanted the chance to showcase my ability at the highest level, and I did get the opportunity now. I just got to take advantage of it. What are you hoping to show the coaches through, through this camp? Uh, I just want to show them I'm a reliable person. I'm a hard worker. I'm going to be the same dude every day. And I'm just going to be a team player. Whatever the team needs, I'm going to do. It's my best ability to help the team win. How much pride do you take in being a violent running back? I take a lot of pride in it. I'm a big guy, as you probably could tell. So I got to run behind my pads and run behind my sides. But I'm more than that. I'm a versatile back. I'm a back to do it all. Like I'm a back that can go over you. I can make you miss and I can go around you. So I try to pride myself to be able to do it all. Is it more fun going over somebody? It depends. It depends what, what, what stage of the game it is. I say if it's like the first quarter that makes someone feel you, let them know what type of game it is. Maybe go through them and then later in the game when they're getting tired, they're just diving at your ankles and go over them. That's when you hit the home runs. Is your, mindset when you look coming in, is your mindset coming in to compete for the number one running back job? My mindset coming in is just to uh, reach my full potential and uh, just be an ass asset to the team and help this team win. How do you look at it though, that? I mean, they drafted you, they got some pretty good holdover backs, Blake Watson's here, do you look at it like this is going to be some pretty strong competition come this training camp? Oh yeah, most definitely, but this is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to compete with the best of the best and we got really good guys in the room and it's just really good. They're going to bring the best out of me. We're going to compete every day with each other, but at the same time we're competing, we're learning off each other, we're growing off each other and that's what it's all about. When you're out here for practice,